Hi everyone, Kelt here. Do you all remember this? Back in 2016, Harry issued a statement to protect his then American girlfriend. And he was warning then that he fears for her safety. A statement by the communication secretary to Prince Harry said that his girlfriend, Meghan Markle, has been subject to a wave of abuse and harassment. It goes on to talk about the racial undertones of comment pieces by the newspapers. Also talks about the outright sexism and racism of social media trolls and web article comments. It goes on about her nightly legal battles to keep defamatory stories out of papers and her mother having to struggle past photographers in order to get to her front door. And then, most importantly, it talks about the attempts of reporters and photographers to gain a legal entry to her home and the calls to police that followed. The Toronto Sun said, Cops confirm they've been called to the home of Harry's new girlfriend. It goes on to say that they had been called to Meghan's home. A constable, Victor Kwong, said, We were called at one point this month for the actions of some media. And a photo, it goes on to say, A photo on the London Daily Mail website clearly shows a Toronto police cruiser sitting outside Markle's home. We will not be discussing anything further. Sorry, he says. Another article in the Toronto Sun says Prince Harry's alleged girlfriend, Meghan Markle, seeks advice from Toronto cops. So she's actively seeking their advice. It talks about how she used to be able to walk her dogs at her leisure or head out of the door to a restaurant without people batting an eye. And then it goes on to say that, but after foreign paparazzi and local reporters staked out her seat and village digs this week, she called Toronto cops. It, says, it goes on to say that Toronto police officers who don't provide private security for VIPs watched her enter the vehicle and media watched it too. She wasn't being hounded by the press. They've proved it. They hung around. They waited. They saw nothing. They also allegedly saw no signs of any break-ins by the paparazzi or any disturbance whatsoever, according to, to what she had complained about. It goes on, one photographer said police approached media Thursday after Markle complained to them. She thought photographers were trying to break into her laneway garage. There was also some talk that Buckingham Palace had tried to convey a message to British reporters to back off, but the palace wouldn't confirm that. No comment from the royal household, senior communications officer David Pogson said in an emailed statement from London on Friday. So there was nothing going on. Nothing was happening there. She made this up. And then Prince Harry puts out a statement, which is very unlike him, and which has only been done once before by Prince William, where paparazzis were using telephoto lenses to capture photographs of Catherine sunbathing topless while on holiday, and actually while thinking that she was secure to do this. This was done without her permission and quite rightly Prince William did take this further and issued a statement. Meghan's was proved to be false. These things weren't happening. There was no break-in. There was no paparazzi hounding her. There are no photos of her with any paparazzi hounding her. So Harry puts out this statement. Three years on, they're still being mentioned. She's still using that now and still making things up about the paparazzi and the media hounding her. I think they're running in the opposite direction. She contacts them to come and take the photos. I've been given permission to share this information from somebody in the know, and it goes as follows. Word is Meghan Markle was a nightmare for them. She called them constantly about people stalking her, needing the police to come out, etc. The office staff started drawing straws for who would have to deal with Meghan because she called so often and was rude on the phone. The police multiple times had to go investigate lurkers or alleged lurkers at her house. Nothing was ever found by the Toronto Police Department. 
I read once that she told her friend that they can't go to lunch because of paparazzi. This was like her first season as an actress. So it seems nothing's changed. It seems as if she's still using the stories of the paparazzi being hounded, pestering her. She's still using it now, saying that they they were hounding her in Vancouver Island. And she's still playing the race card and still playing the Diana card. They both are putting out statements about Diana still. So even way back then at the very beginning, before she was even engaged, she was seemingly playing the same games. So let me have your thoughts on this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, if you haven't already, come on over to my Celt Creates channel where I have a variety of things. ASMR, music, readings, art demos. Please subscribe. Ding my bell for more alerts when I post new videos. Like if you liked it and share. Thanks.